गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स मेरे प्यारे बच्चों फिर से मैं आपके सामने आई हूँ सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ डी पोर्टल लेके और वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन फर्स्ट पैरा एंड वी विल बी एंजॉइंग दिस लेसन देखो ये लेसन हमारे से को रिलेटेड है हमें भी कोशिश करनी चाहिए हमें वॉट एवर फीयर वी आर हैविंग वी शुड ट्राई टू कंट्रोल इट जैसे किन्हीं बच्चों को ये डर लगता है कि भाई अब एग्जाम पास है मैंने पढ़ा नहीं है क्या होगा और कई बार वो गलत डिसीजन्स ले लेते हैं उन्हें नहीं करना चाहिए बिकॉज वन रिजल्ट कैन नॉट एक्सेस योर होल फ्यूचर आप मेहनत करिए आप कोशिश कीजिए उसके बाद से भी कि कुछ अच्छा हो जाए मतलब कई लोगों को लगता है यार एक जॉब नहीं मिला दो जॉब नहीं मिला मतलब फेलियर हो रहा है तो फिर वो हार जाते हैं नहीं आप कोशिश करिए आपके फियर से फियर्स के जितना आ, आप फियर में आएंगे गलत स्टेप उठाएंगे और आपका जो फ्यूचर है र्यून होगा एक स्पॉइल होगा आपको चाहिए कि आपके पास जो भी प्रॉब्लम है उसको एनकाउंटर कीजिए फेस कीजिए एंड ट्राई टू कम कम अप क्योंकि दुनिया में ऐसा कोई प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं बनाया जिसका सोल्यूशन नहीं है देखिए इस राइटर की इस ऑटोबायोग्राफी में भी तो यही बात है विलियम जो राइटर है विलियम डागलक्स उनको फियर था फियर ऑफ वॉटर एंड देखो वन फाइन डे ही एनकाउंटर दैट फियर ही फेस दैट फियर एंड ही थॉट कि नाउ आई हैव टू कम अप एंड ही डिड प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रैक्टिस एंड ही बिकेम मास्टर ऑफ दैट थिंग आप ये प्रोवर्ब सुने भी हैं कि प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ मैन परफेक्ट आप जितनी प्रैक्टिस करेंगे परफेक्शन उतना अच्छा आएगा हो सकता है मैं ये जो वीडियो बना रही हूँ आज इसमें थोड़ी कमी रह जाए फिर कल जो मैं बनाऊँ उसमें उस कमी को थोड़ा दूर करूँ और सडनली वन फाइन डे आई विल बी प्रोफिशेंट बट आई कैन नॉट से दैट आई विल बी मास्टरिंग इट बिकॉज ईच न्यू फाइन डे आई विल लर्न समथिंग सो वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग इट देखिए पहले मैं आपके लिए पैसेज पढ़ूंगी फिर उसको एक्सप्लेन करूंगी एंड देन स्ट्रेंजली देर वॉज लाइट आई वॉज कमिंग आउट ऑफ द ऑफुल येलो वॉटर एटलीस्ट माई आईज वर माई नोज वॉज ऑलमोस्ट आउट टू देन आई स्टार्टेड डाउन अ थर्ड टाइम आई सक्ट फॉर एयर एंड गॉट वॉटर द येलोइ लाइट वॉज गोइंग आउट देन ऑल एफर्ट सीज आई रिलैक्सड इवन माई लेग्स फेल्ट लिम एंड अ ब्लैकनेस स्वेप्ट ओवर माई ब्रेन इट वाइट आउट फियर इट वाइट आउट टेरर There was no more panic. It was quiet and peaceful. Nothing to be afraid of. This is nice to be drowsy, to go to sleep. No need to jump. Too tired to jump. It's nice to be carried gently, to it, to float along in space. Tender arms around me. Tender arms like mother's. Now I must go to sleep. What William Douglas is saying. See, William Douglas is. say in this passage he is stating that strangely he observed something what he observed that he was able to see light to light in that pool because his eyes was out of water ye agar pool ka pani ka level hai to uska jo eyes hai se bahar aaya to he was able to see light because his eyes came out of the pool water His nose was almost out of it, uh, out of the pool water. Nose भी बाहर आया so that he 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 was able to breathe for a uh, few seconds. Then what happened? Again he started drowning deep into the pool, and it was his third attempt. He was going, he was drowning drowning back into the pool, and he tried to breathe, but he was not able to because he was drowning back into the pool and. Uh, the light which he was able to see the yellowish light now he is not able to see that again all his effort ceased means all the effort which he was putting to come out of the water to save his life was worthless It has ended now he has surrendered himself to the situation usne situation ko surrender kar diya ab usse lag raha hai main kuch kar nahi paunga so i have to stop making effort because my effort is worthless it is going in vain I relaxed myself. The author relaxed himself totally, and then he felt that his legs became limp, means lifeless. His there is no, uh, he is not able to move his legs, and a blackness, a total blackout, uh, was there in the mind. He was not able to think what he has to do. He was not into his consciousness. उस उसको कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा क्या करना है. Blackout हो गया. दिमाग अब चल ही नहीं रहा है ना क्योंकि वो अपने consciousness में है ही नहीं. and he surrendered himself to that situation then what happened it wiped out fear now in this situation he is not having any fear everything is washed out no fear no <clears throat> terror 
now he is not in pain he is not in pain because he surrendered himself to that situation this is nice he thought ki it is nice to feel sleepy he was feeling sleepy too and he thought ki now there is no need to jump means no need to save myself i am surrendering to the situation i may apne aap ko surrender karta to situation ko and i will be carried out gently or main dheere dheere gently isi situation mein carry ho jaunga and uh, he felt like some cozy warm warm some coziness is there uh, like he is in 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 his mother's arm he felt that warmth that coziness of uh, uh, getting a touch uh, from the mother he felt like he is in arm of uh, his mother now i must go to sleep and he thought now i have to go to sleep now i will not be able to do anything so i am surrendering myself and i will be going to sleep sleep here means now my li- life is near to end then what happened i crossed to oblivion and the curtain of life fell oblivion is a state where the person become unconscious of what is going in and around him or her and the curtain of life fell means the person is coming very near to the end of his life so now he is saying i had crossed the state uh, i had crossed to oblivion means william became unconscious that what is happening in and around him and he is saying that he is moving towards the end of his life he is moving far away from life and moving near to the end of life so now he is not in his consciousness that's why he is saying i am moving away from my life the next i remember i was lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting the chap that to me in was saying but i was only fooling someone said the kid nearly died be all right now let's carry him to the locker room william when william got some consciousness what he was able to recall that he was lying on his stomach at the side of the pool and he was vomiting and someone was scolding that big brusher boy that boy who threw him in into the pool who threw him into the pool and he he said ke i i had not done it intentionally i was just uh, making i was just enjoying the fun of throwing him into the fo- into the pool i was actually fooling him and someone scolded him that what you did you know the means this boy was nearly was near to death because of your action and uh, right now we had to take him to the locker room immediately so that we can uh, we can try to save his life several hours later i walked home i was weak and trembling i shook and cried when i lay on my bed I could not eat that night for days a haunting fear was in my heart the slightest the slightest exertion upset me making me wobbly in the knees and sick to my stomach wobbly means weak see after uh, after several hours he became normalized and now the condition was in control and he went back to his home who william went back to his home he was feeling very weak he was shivering and uh, he was lying when he came back to the uh, back to home he was lying on the bed and whenever he was recalling that moment he was shivering with fear he was crying and terribly crying because he was totally afraid of that particular situation which he had faced in the pool i he was not able to eat that night and for many days he was facing that fear again and again that fear was coming again and again and he was becoming afraid again and again and even if he was doing simple workout or simple work whenever he got exerted that fear that fear was coming back again and it was disturbing the writer william and he was feeling very weak in the knees that that he is not having power in the knees and he felt like vomiting he was feeling sick in the stomach means he was feeling vomiting uh, in the stuff he was feeling like vomiting then what happened i never went back to the pool i feared water i avoided it whenever i could he he from that day he decided that i will not be going to the pool and the reason was that he got aversion to water he got fear 
aversion of water fear of water he and he was afraid of water so whenever that situation was coming like he has to go to some uh, water sources he avoided it he completely avoided it he was not in a uh, mood to go near to any water sources then what happened a few years later when i came to know the waters of the ca cascades i wanted to get into them and whenever i did whether i was wading the titan or bumping river or bathing in warm lake of the goat rocks the terror that had seized me in the pool would come back it would take possession of me completely my legs would become paralyzed icy horror would grab my heart cascade means waterfall whenever uh, after the after passage of uh, a few years he came to know about the waterfall nearby and he wanted to go there and enjoy the water but whenever he thought of enjoying it he the uh, the fear of water again uh, comes back and uh, he completely gets into the clutches of fear of water or aversion of water then what happened then see what happened uh, like he, whenever he was going to the titan or bumping river or bathing in the warm lake of the goat rocks the same fear the fear of aversion was coming back to him and he was he was feeling completely paralyzed paralyzed means not doing not able to move his hand hand, hand and legs he was again he he was like again into the clutches of um uh, water for high uh, this uh, fear of water then uh, his heart was full of uh, um uh, terror and he didn't wanted to enjoy the water he would go over there but he did not he didn't wanted to enjoy the water then what happened this handicap stayed with me as the years rolled by in uh, rolled by in uh, as the years rolled by in canoes on main lake main lake, lakes fishing for landlocked salmon bass fishing in new hampshire trout fishing on the destutes and metolius in oregon fishing for salmon on the columbia columbia at bumping lake in the cascades wherever i went a haunting fear of the water followed me it ruined my fishing trips deprived me of the see wherever he went for for whatever reason he was like having the same fear of water he was into the clutches of the same fear of water and he, he it ruined his uh, experience of fishing because he was not able to enjoy the water sports like boating canoeing swimming he was like doing fishing he was fishing different types of fish which is written in this para but he was not able to enjoy the water sports over there then uh, canoeing is small boats and ruined means destroyed handicap means not able to make any movement uh, means uh, not able to do something to attain uh, um, uh, to to attain success means here it is related to that he doesn't wanted to attain um, freedom from the fear of water then what happened i used every way i knew to overcome this fear but it held me firmly in its grip finally one one october one october i decided to get an instructor and learn to swim i went to a pool and practiced five days a week and hour each day the instructor put a belt around me a rope attached to the belt went through a pulley that ran on an overhead cable uh, he held to the end of the rope and he, we went back and forth back and forth across the pool hour after uh, hour after hour day after day week after week on each trip across the pool a bit of the panic seized me each time the instructor relaxed his hold on the rope and i went under some uh, some of the old terror returned and my legs froze it was 3 months before the tension began to slack then he taught me to put my face under water and exhale and to raise my nose and inhale i repeated the exercise hundred of times bit by bit i shed part of the panic that seized me whenever when my head went under water see now on 1st october he decided that now i have to face my fear i have to come out of this fear because he he liked water sports and he was unable to enjoy it so he decided now this is the right time i had to face it and for that what he thought that he thought many ways and one of the best way was to hire an instructor then he finally hired an instructor to learn how to swim and the instructor when he came to know about everything he 
he planned the uh, practice swimming practice in phases in what he did he tied a, a belt around the waist of william and then with that belt a rope was tied and this rope was tied uh, was connected to a overhead pulley jo pulley hoti na us pe connected thi and this rope uh, this rope was tightly holded uh, was tightly grabbed by the trainer by the instructor and now this practice started then uh, he was practicing uh, five days a week Uh, for daily one hour and he was having an assurance that if i will be getting drowned in the water my instructor will save me literally slowly and slowly gradually and gradually they started uh, swimming practice he went forth and uh, he went uh, he uh, what he did he started practicing so swimming he went forth and then back he swam across the length of the pool and for it take it took 3 months to uh, come out of the uh, come out of the fear and to be um, like uh, and to get normalized with that pool water and he was because he was having confidence that yes my instructor is there to save me whenever he was going into the pool it, with all this safety measures then also the fear was coming back but he was like having an assurance yes my instructor is there he will save me and he was trying to get rid of that fear because of that instructor he was going and he became proficient he became normalized with the pool water and again slowly and slowly all the pain which which was uh, the pain and the fear of water was going gradually was uh, washing away gradually from his mindset then what happened next he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs for weeks i did just that at first my legs refused to work but they gradually relaxed and finally i could command them dekhi aap dekhte honge swimming pool mein jaise ye swimming pool ka side hai theek hai yahan pe kai bachcho ko dekhiyega kai new practitioners ko dekhiyega wo apne legs aise aise hilate rehte to next was that when he became comfortable with the water he was like uh, he was comfortable with the pool water then then the instructor said that you come to the side of the pool and practice uh, uh, practice the kicking of the legs so that he will be knowing the different strokes jab kicking karna chalu karega apne leg ko aise se karna movement chalu karega to wo kya dheere dheere swimming sikhega and for weeks he practiced it very sincerely for initially the legs were not he was not able to ma- make any movement but gradually he made as his fear was going out he was able to move his legs and then suddenly he got command and he he knew how to kick or how to move the legs in the water thus piece by piece he built a swimmer and when he had perfected each piece he put them together into an integrated whole in april he said now you can swim dive off and swim the length of the pool crawl stroke then see instructor as i had stated you when instructor came to know about everything which william was uh, facing he planned this whole session into phase into small small segment and when he was trained in all segment he put all together and he said uh, in april month to williams that now you are a swimmer i had i had made you a swimmer because of your practice you had become a good swimmer now you have to put all the training together and you have to swim in this uh, pool D- dive off and then swim the length of the pool swim this swim the length of this pool and uh, the stroke which you will be using will be the crawl stroke finally the instructor made uh, fi- sorry i did the instructor was finished and he he said ki he, he instructor said ki my work is over i had made a swimmer out of you now you can do it all alone you don't need any inst- instructor or trainer but i was not finished i still wondered if i would be terror stricken when i was alone in the pool i tried it i swam the length up and down tiny vestiges of old terror would return but now i could frown and say that say to that terror trying to scare me eh well here's to you look and off i would go for another length of the pool vestiges means stresses i was not confident that i will be able to do it because i thought that if i will be into the pool and if my terror or if my fear will return back what will happen 
I was afraid of going into the pool all alone because of my fear. Uh, but then too, I tried it. I swam across the pool. Traces of my fear came back. But this time I was having training. I was trained. I was able to face my fear. And I said to my fear, trying to scare me, Mujhe darana chaate ho? No, not, not at all. I will not be afraid of. Here, you see what I can do. I can swim this whole length of the pool. And he did it again and again. And this went on until July. This session went till, till the month of July. But I was still not satisfied. He was not satisfied. I was not sure that all terror had left. He was not confident that all the terror, all the fear of water was uh, was washed away from him or not. Or he is still in the clutches of that fear. So uh, he went to Lake Wentworth in New Hampshire. And he dived off dock at Triggs Island and he dived from, uh, he dived at Triggs Island and swam two miles across the lake to Stamp Act Island. He, stamped, he swam two miles from uh, this Triggs Island to Stamp Act Island. I swam the crawl. He tried different types of stroke over there like breeze stroke, side stroke, crawl stroke. <laughs> Uh, and these are different style of swimming and he tried every stroke uh, maximum of the stroke only once did the terror return one at one time the fear came back when he was in the middle of that of the lake wo middle mein jab aaya beech mein aaya tab fear jo hai fir se uske paas aaya i i put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water when i was under the water under the, the water of the lake i was not able to see anything i saw the bottomless water again the old sensation the feeling of fear returned back in a very small amount i laughed and said i laughed and said to uh, fear that well mr terror well mr fear what do you think you can do to me what do you think what you will do to me it fled uh, uh, it fled and i swam on i when i was able to face the terror and i said what you can do to me then that fear went away from me and i was able to swim swim Yet I had residual doubts at my first opportunity. I hurried west, went up to the Titan to Conrad Meadows, up the Con Conrad Creek Trail to, to Mead Glacier and camped in the high meadow by the side of Warm Lake. The next morning I stipe dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back just as Doug uh, Carprone Corp used to do. I shouted with joy and Gilbert Gilbert Peak returned the echo. I had conquered my fear of water. William still had some doubt about the fear. He he swam there very comfortably, but again he is having doubt about his own fear. So he hurried towards the western direction. He went up the Titan. Uh, Titan. Uh, it is a water source. Reached the Conrad Meadow. Walked up the Conrad Creek Trail to Mead Glacier. He camped the meadow by the warm lake. He camped over there. The next morning, he wore swimming suit and swimming costume, swimming suit, and dived into the uh, dived into the lake. He swam from one end to another end and came back to the initial end from where he started. And he was filled with joy. What he did, William shouted with joy that he overcame his fear. His voice. He echoed in that area, he echoed in that particular mountain peak called Gilbert Peak and he was able to feel the joy of swimming without any fear and he was very happy. He was very happy. The experience had a deep meaning for me as only those who know, who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate. In death there is peace, there is terror only in the fear of death. As Roosevelt knew when he said, all we had to fear is fear itself because I had experienced both the sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce. The will to live somehow grew in intensity. At last I felt released, free to walk the trails and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear. You know, facing death Nearing to the death gives you more fear. And when you are dead, there is no fear. 
आप मर गए तो किस चीज का फियर है कुछ चीज नहीं का फियर नहीं लेकिन जो फियर है ना किसी चीज से वो बहुत इंटेंसिफाई हो जाता है मेजर स्केल में आ जाता है तो यहाँ पे विलियम जो डागलक्स है ये है एक्सपीरियंस हैड अ ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस इन विलियम्स लाइफ ये जो एक्सपीरियंस है फियर ऑफ वाटर एंड हाउ ही एवर ओवरकेम इट इट हैड इट हैड अ मेजर इंपैक्ट ऑन विलियम डागलक्स ही रियलाइज दैट डेथ वाज अ पीसफुल डेथ इज अ पीसफुल थिंग मतलब मर गए शांति है आप हम मर गए शांत है सब चीज शांत है हमारे में कोई सेंसेशन नहीं है हम शांत है एंड ओनली द फियर ऑफ डेथ वॉज फियरफुल एस सी इफ आई एम सफरिंग फ्रॉम सम डिसीज एंड आई नो आई विल बी आई विल डाई द फियर द फियर विच इज देयर इन माई माइंड इन माई हार्ट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डाई इज मोर पेनफुल इन रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द फैक्ट कि मैं मर जाऊ इफ आई एम डेड देर इज नो फियर बट आई नो दैट आई विल बी डाइंग इन वन मंथ दिस विल गिव मी मोर पेन इट्स नॉट पीसफुल आई विल बी इन टू द क्लचेस ऑफ फियर then he recollects the word which was said by the president roosevelt and he said that all we have to fear is fear itself hum sabko jisse dar lagta hai wo dar hi to khud hai matlab unhone kya bola tha we have to fear is fear itself humko jis cheez se fear hai wo to fear khud hi hai na hum dar se hi darte hain hum dar se hi darte hain as william had experienced death and the fear of death his desire to leave grew immensely see william has experienced a death like situation and he came out of it and he struggled a lot and one fine day when he decided that i have to face this fear he is his his aim of attaining perfection in that swimming his aim of attaining perfection in removing the fear of water made him strong and he stood strong he stood strong to practice it to gain mastery over it to jab aapko fear of koi cheez rehta hai ki mujhe fear hai failure ka if i i know that i will be failing down i have not read my subject properly then what you have to do practice it read it give your more time read it continuously one time you will not be able to understand second time you will not be fifth time sixth time you will be able to understand it matlab jitna aap mehnat karoge jitna us fear ko encounter karoge aap winner banoge hi banoge lekin ye positive sense mein hona chahiye he felt ultimately when he got mastery in swimming he felt released from fear and he was free to walk up the trails and climb the mountains fearlessly now he is like free to do anything now he is not having any fear he wanted to do everything without any fear because he thought he, he himself had experienced how fear has ruined his life and how he overcame it so we all should try to overcome our fear we all should try to face our fear so that in future we will not have any fear of anything hame apne bhavishya mein koi fear na ho dekhiye life mein koi bhi situation ho kaisi bhi situation ho हमें डरना नहीं चाहिए देखिए फियर इज नेचुरल थिंग इट विल कम बट वी शुड ट्राई टू फेस इट एंड वी शुड ट्राई टू एनकाउंटर अवर प्रॉब्लम एंड वी शुड अप्लाई अवर स्ट्रैटेजी थिंक ऑफ सो मेनी वेज एंड द बेस्ट वे यू ट्राई टू इम्प्लीमेंट एंड यू विल गेट रिड ऑफ फियर वंस यू विल गेट मास्टरी ऑन दैट फियर वंस यू विल गेट रिड ऑफ दैट फियर योर लाइफ विल बी ईजी देखिए एक हिंदी में लाइन है कि जब खोने को कुछ नहीं रहता है जब खोने और पाने को कुछ नहीं रहता तो व्यक्ति अपना बेस्ट देता है तो so, सिर्फ आपको यही करना है अपने फियर को किसी भी प्रोफेशनल पर्सनल इमोशनल कोई भी फियर को यू फेस इट एंड यू विल बी द विनर सो थैंक्स फॉर पेशेंटली लिसनिंग एंड सीइंग माय वीडियो देखिए आप अगर आपको ये वीडियो पसंद आता है तो इसे आप अपने दोस्तों में भी शेयर करिए क्योंकि ये प्लेटफॉर्म आपके लिए है दिस दिस प्लेटफॉर्म इज फॉर यू एंड मी इफ आई एम शेयरिंग समथिंग यू शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड यू आर ऑल्सो वेलकम टू शेयर योर थॉट्स व्हाट यू वांट मोर फ्रॉम मी आई एम आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट टू डू वट एवर सजेशन यू विल बी गिविंग थैंक यू फॉर सीइंग माय वीडियोस थैंक यू गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल